four teams insist that there must be balance. The wrath of God, the Bible said, is released against all unrighteousness. And the position of the wrath of God is that the wages of sin is dead. So no matter what God does, in order to forgive man, death must happen. Because of wrath, there's no way forgiveness can happen without death. But at the same time, there is the mercy of God that says the sinner must be let go. Because James 2.13 said, mercy prevails over judgment. Wrath say you will die. Mercy say you can die. So God naturally would have been left in a dilemma. But while God was contemplating that and wanted to pull out, I said, okay, since there is a crisis, let the man die. The love of God now show up. I said, no, he can't die. You love this man. How can he die? And so because God does not have any other choice, since there must be a balance between wrath, mercy, and love, God decided to leave his throne, take off his body, put the body of man, become a man, and die for man. You will say, ah, are you not the sovereign God? Just say you are forgiving. No, he's in the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, you can't just wake up and say, I forgive you. Among men in the natural, you can steal something from me and you come and say, sorry, I beg, don't be angry. When I look at you, even if you are manipulating me, my heart will be somehow, I will forgive you. In the spirit realm, God can't. He can't just look at you and say, forgive me. He can't. If he does that, he will deny himself. And so, the only way is that you must die. And so what God did was that God took your place. In taking your place, his love and mercy was manifested. And in dying, his wrath was also manifested. That's how legalistic God is. And God didn't stop there. After he died for you, he now gave you grace. So that you will live above that sin. Because if you go back, there will be consequences. It's a legalistic realm. If you know how the spirit realm works, you will guide your life carefully. Jesus said something. He said, every idle word a man speaks, he said, he will account for it. The reason you talk anyhow is because you don't know how legalistic. You think because you said it at the age of 19, when you are 50 years old, time has passed. <laughs> On the last day, that word will stand up and start walking. I say, you spoke me. I am here now. <laughs> you know, if you know the spirit realm, you will tremble. Jesus spoke. He said, these words have spoken today. He said, they will rise up against you in judgment. Because wars will walk. They will walk into the courtroom. When you want to deny, your word will come and say, don't you recognize me? <laughs> you can't speak carelessly. That's why when you start maturing, you, you guide your word. I taught you maturity. I told you, he said, him that is perfect, has rule over his tongue. Why do you think many children are wayward? From the age of two to the age of nine, all the causes in this world, their parents use anger to release it on them. When they now mature, they go and trouble God every day. Help my son. Which son? The one you have destroyed with your tongue. You hear good for nothing. Foolish boy. Wayward boy. You don't have any hope in this life. She claims she's angry. When the anger comes down, the world will remain as a witness. Because the realm is legalistic. Listen, many people don't know these things in their depth. Somebody stands up and he says, even when he's cracking joke, I don't die. And then the I don't die is filling up. When the quorum is complete, nothing on earth can deliver him. A boss can just shift into a gutter. Out of 27 persons, he will be the only person that dies. Because when he was saying it, he was filling a cup. He didn't know. When that cup is full, the legality of the spirit realm will insist that you die. He, he thinks he's joking, but in that realm, they are documenting your utterance. It's legalistic. 
Somebody stands up. You say, what is happening? He say, nothing is working. Well done. You may need 10 years of intercession to change the things you have said. Nothing is working. The Bible said, when men are cast down, say. He didn't say when men say there's a casting down. Men are really cast down. He said, but be careful. You are dealing in a legalistic world. Don't be part of them. Even when you are down, say there's a lifting up. He said, let no one in Zion, let no one say I am sick. The doctor can say what he wants. There's a challenge I'm dealing with. I will never, never say it. Because it's a legalistic realm. You ask somebody, say, ah, my money don't finish. My money doesn't finish. I may not have cash now, but I have money. Because so long as I have value, I have money. You will never. I know the legalities of the realm. These things we teach is to give you an advantage in life. You stand up, you say your wife is good for nothing because you are quarreling. When you settle that quarrel, be waiting for the good for nothing. It's coming. You are building something. Did you know what, read what the Bible said? It said that thou mightest cleanse her by washing with water by the word of God. The word is remata. That means you can shape her into anything. Because you quarrel, you say you are a wayward person. Wait for that accumulated waywardness. When it comes, you will kneel down and beg God for 10 years to alter the things you have created. Honey, yeah, hey. Some of you need to go to your business and prophesy over it for one month. Because you have killed that business with your words. You, you killed it. You may need to go and prophesy over that business for one month before your utterances are able to change the things you have created. Some of you need to prophesy over your children for six months for them to ever count again. You have killed them even before they manifested.